Project 3! Welcome to week 3 of video classes! How are you? I hope you're okay, not too crazy in your houses. Before we start today's class, I'd like you to look in the description of the video. You'll see a link to a website, okay? This website will take you to some online practice for project, okay? If you click on the link, it takes you to this page, project, and it has the different project books on there. Now, our book is project three, so click on project three, the green book, okay? And up comes your menu. Unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, unit five, unit six, word bank, games, tests. So you can do any of these activities that you like. Let's look, for example, at unit five, which we have just finished, okay? We have grammar, vocabulary, test, audio, everyday English, okay? So next week is Semana Santa. There's no video classes, but you can use this to continue practicing during the week, okay? Now, let's get on with the class. So today we're looking at page 65. In page 65, computer studies, safety on the net which is very important at the moment because we're doing lots of things on the internet, okay? So first, we need to look at these three texts. The first is chat rooms and social networks, Facebook, Instagram, for example. Passwords, which is the code or word you use to access your account. And finally, emails is the electronic mail, all right? Now, in these three texts, you'll see there are spaces. And we need to complete the spaces with this vocabulary, all right? So let's go through the vocabulary. First, we have reply. Reply is respond. For example, I say, hello, and you respond, hello, okay, to reply. The next one, nickname. Your nickname is not your real name. It's the name that family or friends call you, for example. Delete is to take away permanently. Friends, is obvious. I'm sure you have a lot of friends. Attachments is a photo or a document that you send with your email. A pet is an animal you have in your house. For example, I have five cats and two dogs. They are my pets. Numbers, easy peasy, one, two, three, four, Mobile phone is this. Parents, your mum and dad. And finally, log off is when you close your account until you enter the next time. Okay, so enter Facebook and when you finish, log off from Facebook. Okay, so now here is your chance to press pause complete the three texts with the vocabulary and when you finish press play again and we'll go through the answers okay so good luck and press pause now all right are you back so did you put one word for each space good now we're going to Listen and check your answers. Okay, are you ready? Let's listen.
Page 65, exercise 1B. How can you stay safe online? Here are some simple tips. Chat rooms and social networks. One, never use your real name on the internet. Use a nickname. Your friends will recognize it, but strangers won't. Two, never give your real address, school, date of birth, or email address on the internet. Three, always set privacy settings to friends only. Four, always log off before you leave a computer. Passwords. One, never tell anyone your password, even your best friend. Two, don't write your password down or store it on your mobile phone. Keep it in your head. Nobody can see it there. Three, don't use these things for passwords. Family names, your date of birth, your pet's name, your favorite pop group, or friends' names. People can guess your password from them. Four, for a good password, use a mixture of letters, numbers, and symbols. Emails. One, sometimes you can get an email from an unknown address. Don't reply to it. Don't open any attachments as they may contain a virus. Delete the email immediately. Two, sometimes you can get an email that says bad things. Don't reply to it. Don't delete it. Show it to your parents or a teacher. Okay, did you get everything correct? I'm sure you did. Well done. So these are different tips for going on the computer. A tip is good ideas, all right? So now we're going to listen to eight people speaking, all right? Of the eight people, which ones know the safety rules for the internet? Okay, so listen to the eight speakers and write the number of the people who know these different tips. Okay, are you ready to listen? Let's listen to the eight speakers. Page 65, exercises 2A and 2B. Speaker 1. I like to chat on the internet. My internet name is Spaceman. Speaker 2. Some people at school got my email address, and I received a lot of horrible emails. I didn't show them to anybody. I just deleted them. Speaker 3. I put lots of things on my profile. My pet dog, Billy, and our house. I don't bother with privacy settings. I think it's great when everyone knows about my life. It's like being a celebrity. Speaker 4. My password? I'm not going to tell you or anybody else. Speaker 5. Oh, here's an email from Fred Jones. I don't know anyone called Fred Jones, but there's an attachment called Free Computer Games. That sounds good. I'll open it. Speaker 6. I'm just going to have a sandwich. I won't log off, because I'll be back soon. Speaker 7. No, I don't write down my password or keep it on my mobile phone. I'm not stupid. Anyway, it's easy to remember. It's the month of my birthday. Speaker 8. What's this? That's a horrible thing to write in an email. Mum, come and look at this. Okay, so how many of the people knew the safety rules? Three, yes. Number one, number four, and number eight. 
So this time we're going to listen again and what do the people do correctly or incorrectly? Okay, so listen to the eight people again. Which of the rules do they do right and which do they do wrong? Okay, are you ready? Let's listen again. D5, exercises 2A and 2B. Speaker 1. I like to chat on the internet. My internet name is Spaceman. Speak to two. Some people at school got my email address, and I received a lot of horrible emails. I didn't show them to anybody. I just deleted them. Speaker three. I put lots of things on my profile. My pet dog, Billy, and our house. I don't bother with privacy settings. I think it's great when everyone knows about my life. It's like being a celebrity. Speaker 4. My password? I'm not going to tell you or anybody else. Speaker 5. Oh, here's an email from Fred Jones. I don't know anyone called Fred Jones, but there's an attachment called Free Computer Games. That sounds good. I'll open it. Speaker 6. I'm just going to have a sandwich. I won't log off, because I'll be back soon. Speaker 7. No, I don't write down my password or keep it on my mobile phone. I'm not stupid. Anyway, it's easy to remember. It's the month of my birthday. Speaker 8. What's this? That's a horrible thing to write in an email. Mum, come and look at this. Okay, do you have an answer for each of the speakers? What did they do right or what did they do wrong? If you need some extra time or you want to listen again, no problem, press pause or go back on the video and listen again. All right, if you're finished, let's look at the answers. So, number one is very good. He doesn't use his real name on the internet. Can you remember his nickname? Spaceman, good. Number two, she deletes horrible emails and she doesn't show them to anyone. If you get an email that's horrible, always show a teacher or your mum or your dad. Okay. Number three, oh dear, he puts all his information on the internet. He's not a celebrity. <laughs> Number four is good. She doesn't tell anyone her passwords. Number five, oh, he receives an email from a person he doesn't know. He opens it and opens attachments. Dump. Number six, then. When he leaves the computer, he doesn't log off. Now, in your home, in your house, it's not so bad. But if you are in a public place, very bad. Number seven, then. Good, she doesn't tell people her passwords. But her password is very easy to guess the month she was born. Ugh. And finally, number eight is good. She receives a problem email and she tells her mum. Perfect. All right. So if you have any questions about this text, then email me, no problems. Okay, remember, you also have the link in the description for some extra practice, okay? Otherwise, until then, see you on Wednesday. Bye.